Hey, Mr. Oppressor, you are going to be involved in one of the biggest announcements that could be made throughout the world. Everybody's awaiting your uh, announcement. How confident are you that you made the right decision here? Well, uh, you know, Jim, I thought about this long and hard. You know, it was a decision that had to be made. Um, you know, I looked out for my best interest, you know. I've been doing the same thing for three years now, and I think it was time for a change. And um, that's when I came to my conclusion. Uh, I had to do what's best for the oppressable brand. And if uh, I was going to make the oppressable brand better, I was going to make the decision. Okay, good enough. Now, this decision is going to be very impactful throughout the world. Are you ready for the... Uh hate that's going to come along with it from uh, one set of individuals as opposed to the other. I mean, because you're going to be looked upon as a hero in one group and uh, throughout the land you're going to probably be hated by others. Yes, I'm prepared for all the backlash, Jim. You've got to understand So I grew up in a bad area. You know, I grew up all my life uh, against the odds this and that. So whatever happens, you know, it doesn't surprise me, you know. Like I say, if people want to get affected by something so petty like this and that, hey, that's no problem with me. I don't give a flying fuck. So I'm going to do what's best for the oppressor brand, and uh, I always will do what's best for the oppressor brand. If they can't handle it, so be it. How did you come about making this decision, Mr. Oppressor? I mean, everybody knows you, and they know that you like to play this game. Uh, what impacted you upon making this decision? What led you to this? Well, Jim, it was kind of easy. You know, uh, I got tired of uh, really just really waiting a month for downloadable content. I got tired of waiting a month for this. I got tired of everything. And, uh, you know, I know the game was built strictly for that system, and it was uh, made my decision much easier. Well, it's time for me to ask you the million-dollar question, the one that everyone's awaiting for throughout the land right now, the world in general. Mr. Oppressor, what will you be playing on next year? I like to think that I put a lot of time and effort into the decision, uh, at least two or three hours. And I based it off a few gameplays here and there, and um, I'm very happy with my decision. And um, that's why I'm taking my tile to Xbox Live and the Xbox 360. Okay, upon learning of the decision, Mr. Oppressor, um, people throughout the world right now are burning your memorabilia. They are burning your background image, and they are unsubscribing to your YouTube channel. Did you expect this sort of backlash from a simple decision such as the one you just made? Well, Jim, it doesn't shock me. It doesn't surprise me one bit, to say the least, that, uh, you know, weak minds, the fanboys of the weakest minds in the world anyway. So you knew they were going to be upset and to uh, just, you know, burn my memorabilia up like that and uh, burn my channel background. Hey, what do you expect, man? Fanboys are weak-minded, and... Uh, it's not going to deter my decision, and, um, you know, hey, it's just the way it is. I now have two gaming beasts, whereas the Nerds of War fanboys only have one. That is, unless you're a Wii fanboy, then you have none. Um, for the Nerds of War fanboys, you can understand something about me. I don't give a fuck. I don't cater to nobody. If you don't like my videos that I'm putting out right now, you feel betrayed by me, and then obviously you're fucking 14 years old, you're a deranged, mentally deranged adult or something like that. Unfucking subscribe. My dick length isn't measured by how many subscribers I have on YouTube, uh, contrary to what some people believe. Uh, I could give a fuck. Now, I fought long and hard about buying this system because I really don't need two fucking gaming systems for the games I play. And having uh, downloadable content on Modern Warfare 2 30 days earlier wasn't even a contributing factor. I like the looks of the machine. And they wanted to give me $200 for that beast below, PS3, but come on, man. I ain't giving that beast up. I love my fucking PS3. So I kept both systems. I don't need both systems, but I'm keeping them both. And I'm going to do all my commentaries on the PS3. Believe me when I tell you, I had no intentions of getting rid of that thing because I love that fucking system. Now, like I said, I fought long and hard. I really don't need two systems. But now, guess what? I got both systems. I can play any fucking game I want. Maybe I'll start playing different games as opposed to just shooters. Which I don't think I will, but like I said, I don't cater to no one. My videos are for my self-purpose, and I entertain the people out there like watching them. I don't give a fuck if you dislike them or not. This is fucking 2010. I ended the Nerd Soul War. No one gives a fuck about it. Um, oh, like I said, I'm going to do my commentaries on the PS3 because I got to be honest with you. 
Xbox Live is full of fucking camping motherfuckers. Now, I ain't saying the players ain't good on Xbox Live because I ran into some high-skilled players on her, no doubt. But being that I'm getting used to a fucking controller that I'm not used to, every, the buttons are all backwards on it, and the motherfuckers are camping. When I mean camping, they camp. When they want to play, it's fun. But most of the lobbies I've been into, they motherfucking camp. They don't run around. I needs to run around. Maybe I will do some commentaries on the Xbox 360, because I'll tell you one thing right now. I will show some fucking anger in them motherfuckers. But as of now, I'm going to continue doing them on the PS3, and plus I don't want to buy another component cable, blah, blah, blah. But eventually I'll maybe make a few. I'll switch them up here and there. The bottom line is, like I said, if you're offended by my video, you feel betrayed by it, that means you're a Nerds of War fanboy, and chances are you're 14 or 15 years old, or you're a mentally deranged adult. I don't need your fucking subscription. Unfucking sub. I don't give a flying fuck. The bottom line is I make videos for my own entertainment. And by the way, if anyone didn't know what this video was, it was basically a direct collation, a parody of LeBron James. But only I did it better because I'm better than LeBron James. He might make a little more money than me, but I'm better than him.